Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's Elliot Brown here for a brand new show. Yes, I know. I've been talking about it for the last couple of weeks. Hi down here on Instagram and hi down here on Facebook for the live that we're doing when we're going out at nine o'clock on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for, you can see it down here, where, 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 where there it is, the Pivotal Podspective. That's the name. And I'm hoping you like the name because we've spent a lot of time putting that together. And I'll tell you why, because I really wanted to come up with something. Uh, there's a few people commenting down here on Instagram. If you're watching this on YouTube, by the way, then we've got a few bits and pieces set up here for episode one. This is going to get a little bit slicker as we move forward. Um, but this is an exciting, exciting chance to get to chat to lots of people all over the place about new, innovative, fresh ideas, fresh twists on things that we've all been doing right up until now or that other business owners have been doing. Lots of people have been doing things with marketing, mindset, strategies, uh, processes, every element of business. And we have come along to bring to you a pivotal perspective, a pivotal podspective, a new perspective, something that is able, you're able to change and pivot and turn and make that just that little bit better. Okay. So we've got loads of things to go over. And, uh, and today the first one, as you know, cause I've mentioned his name a few times now, uh, is, uh, Adrian Dorobantu joining me. So I'm just going to bring him into the screen now. Um, how you doing, Adrian? Hello everyone. I'm doing great. Hello. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks for joining. How are you doing? You're right. You had a good day? Yeah, very good day. Yeah, very productive, though. Yeah. A very productive day. Good. I like that. I like that. Good positive. A good positive day. And of course, you've been excited about doing this as well, haven't you? Of course. Yeah, I was. Yeah, definitely. I was even to my good, uh, you know, hoodie. And yeah. All that, so yeah. I mean, I have to be honest with you. Adrian does hide, hide his excitement pretty well, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a very hard to please guy. You know, me and Elia, we always joke about this. At some point, I'm going to make a YouTube channel called Hard to Please or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm no, I'm genuinely excited. I think I think that I think that'll work very very well. Well, <laughs> welcome to the uh, episode one of the Pivotal Podspective, Adrian. Uh, no, yeah, no pressure at all on me. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> if, if this doesn't work, it's gonna be all my all my fault because I messed it up in the first episode. <laughs> Absolutely, no. Listen, you can't you can't mess it up. Well, not that badly anyway. <laughs> no, we we can't mess this up, mate. Um, listen, I, I well, I've I've been looking forward to this. We were going to do this as a recorded thing, and I thought, do you know what? Let's throw all caution to the wind and do this as do these as lives. Um, I think yeah, five let, a week let, probably let a bit too much. Just naturalist natural state and all this, you know, with all our mistakes and all this, we're all human as well. So yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so, so if anybody hasn't seen the uh, the podcast that Adrian and I have done, we've done a couple of bits together. Uh, Adrian is an extraordinaire when it comes to <laughs> that's what everybody's going to be, right? So everybody has to be an extraordinaire. Uh, but you're an extraordinaire when it comes to um, the 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 tweaking of social media, making things work, getting engagement. Um, I'll hand it over to you. Give us a quick rundown of, of what you do, Adrian. So what do I do? You know, I actually, I got that question asked even today by someone that could be a potential customer. And I said, what do you do? How much do you charge for an ad or things like that? I said, look, yeah. I'm not doing just a one ad. So what do I do? Is usually I do an audit of your old social media website and things like that. Just to understand what you do, what, where you want to go. And if I can help you, if not, then that's it. I can give you some tips for free. But yeah. my main, uh, my main focus is on, on chatbots. Uh, I love chatbots, you know, and uh, everyone at some point interacted with chatbots in their life, even if they know it or don't know it, just because uh -huh. some of them are done in such a good way that you don't realize the chatbot that you're talking with. Yeah, of course. And mm -hmm. and and you are there's and it's not just about chatbots. I mean, we're going to talk about chatbots today, but there's lots of different elements in that which which are mainly used for getting engagement on uh, on on social media, right? Exactly. Yeah. So obviously loads of uh, softwares that we're going to talk about in, in the following series are going to come, you know, um, business automation, anything that can save you some time as well as a business owner and try to automate processes and, uh, and yeah, all this. Yeah. But it's all related with social media, um, some email automation and, uh, and, and other things as well. 
Yeah, yeah, great. So, so let me just quickly say, I mean, in case anybody's just joined or anybody's just watching this for the first time and they don't know what this is all about, um, what is the Pivotal Perspective? Okay, well, Adrian and I are going to talk about chatbots today. So what that is and the way I see it is that I don't just want to talk about um, on this show and, and co-host with people just talking about what we've all seen, what we've all seen other people do with social media, what we've seen people do with marketing, with digital marketing, with websites. Um, with coaching, you know, uh, and getting ideas for business and personal development um, or potentially a sales process or potentially a strategy for a business, so depending on what your business is, whether it be retail, online or, you know, whether it be a service or a product, you know. There's always somebody coming up with something new, something innovative, something fresh, a different approach. Um not just, as I said, for your business, but if you may be an, you may be an entrepreneur, you may want to be entrepreneur. Maybe you have got an enterprise type style mind and you could be a student maybe, and you're looking to the future of what you may want to do. Well, this is going to be the place to get lots of information and not just by reading and things like that, but we're going to have this in audio and video form, in podcast, audio and video podcast on YouTube. You're going to be able to get this all over the place. So however you soak up information, it's really important to me because I I don't necessarily learn from books, as Adrian knows, um, but I learn from other people all the time. So if I do that, then there's plenty of other people that want to do that as well. So that's why I wanted to bring this to you guys out there and co-host with people that are extraordinaires in their own uh, area of business. And so, uh, so yeah, so chatbots is what we're going to be chatting about today. I won't necessarily go into this explanation every single time, but there will be a bit at the beginning of the videos as we go forward that's going to explain what the show's about. Uh, but for day one and probably for the next week, I will continue to do that. Um, okay, Adrian. I know what chatbots are. In fact, I've been telling a lot of people over the last uh, the last week or two to get over to Essex Business Radio and click on send message. Uh, and what happens when I send it, when I click on that, Adrian? You tell you tell us what happens and how if, that works. If I remember correctly, they should get about three options, you know, because uh, yeah. obviously we set it up together. Uh, yeah. But it's again, this came from a um, from a necessity of not uh, not necessarily wasting time but actually organizing and managing things in in, in a much better way yeah. so they're gonna they're gonna get um, the option to go to get on a podcast and yeah. after that they're gonna get some questions so what happens with all those questions after the answer we capture all the data so we're gonna know their name we're gonna know exactly uh, the answer to all those questions and then we can filter them and help you and your team to, to go through everything much easier. And also you're gonna get notified with an email and um, a messenger notification at the end saying, Elliot, someone new it's interested in, uh, in in getting on a podcast, right? Absolutely. So it's just um, a very good time saver for, uh, for any business and also um, an organization, I don't know, organizing tool. Absolutely. Listen, I mean, you get, you know, 100% um, uh, success rate on, on engaging with people straight away on Facebook, which does your Facebook um, business page some favors as well, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You, you're going to get your, because if someone messages you and you're going to answer in, in two hours, uh, usually even the customers are going to see that and say, this page usually replies in two hours, which doesn't look good. And yeah. also your um, engagement rate in Messenger is going to go, is going to drop down gradually. Um, yeah. That, that doesn't look good for the metrics in, in the eyes of Facebook. Uh, but like this, it's just an instant reply at all. Yeah. I mean, listen, I mean, most people have probably used one with it when it comes to banking. Um, you know, if you've set a business up and you've uh, you've booked or, you, or you've bought your domain name, for example, there's a lot of companies like that that ba basically want to work 24-7, don't necessarily always have people in offices 24-7. But want to be able to yeah, want to be able to, you know, engage straight away. So that's on a website. Um, and, you know, this can be used on a website as well, right? The, uh, the chat yeah. box linked with Facebook um, in the messenger system can also be linked, uh, used on your website. Exactly. So there are loads of types of uh, loads, loads of type of chatbots, you know, and probably one of the most common that people use and they not realize is maybe the one in the banks. So anything yeah. like customer support or anything in the apps in the banks, if someone replies to you straight away, I can guarantee it's not a person. <laughs> it's going to yeah. be a chatbot. Yeah, uh, sure. Because everyone just wants everyone just wants um, uh, instant customer satisfaction. But yeah, you can use it uh, as a customer support. You can use it on websites. You can use it to create experiences. You know, for people. Um, for example, Disney. I just um, read something about them. They've launched a new movie, 
and okay. they've done the whole experience in the chatbot on messenger you know to just uh, really people, yeah to give people clues about that and all this there's that. another guy in in australia uh, that owns a um, tourist company yeah. and what he does he partnered up with someone they don't uh, they don't a chatbot and it's a, a chatbot about um, a murder mystery it's like a story that happened on that island and everyone that comes there they just get a QR code straight from the beginning, you know, when they enter on the island, it's yeah. candies, and they have to kind of follow the clues. And depend, yeah. depending on what they answer, they just get taken on different oh, really? parts of the island. Yeah, so it's uh, so many I like, ways. I like, do I like your little link in there with the QR code because tomorrow we are going to be talking about QR codes, aren't yeah. we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> Very smooth, Adrian. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So the, you have so many ways, you know, to do it. Like I said, first of all, is maybe customer uh, support, then. Um, customer experiences as well uh and that's it yeah i i mean i i, I think it's a, you know it's a great tool uh where, where you know you and i literally met on the back of a qr code and a chatbot in essence um exactly. and uh, and look at the look at the relationship it's it, it's flourished from it adrian exactly i, I think i'm uh, a little more excited than you do to be fair but <laughs> and I'm not, you know me you know how I'm, I'm just sad because we haven't uh basically seen each other uh only on zoom you know since this lockdown but yeah once it. Things goes, yeah it. yeah yeah um yeah, no i listen i'm i'm absolutely sold on this uh more and more people i mean this is this was due to be the year of chatbots i mean i've seen a massive rise since talking to you last or meeting you last year uh, and become you know really good friends as well as uh, you know as well as working together on stuff as well um but I, I i've seen a rise in it already and i don't think this year actually has seen the rise i expected it to see i think that because of things that have happened over the last couple of months yeah, exactly. this is the point i genuinely believe where people are going to start looking at things like this video and start looking at what other people are doing and going i've been sat around for six eight weeks i've been doing stuff now how is it how is it i get the engagement it's never too late guys it's never too late no to start yeah. doing one of these things just because you may see somebody else is using a chat bot or that you've only just got your website going or you've just got a landing page whatever stage you're at or whether you've had a business that's been running 20 years and you want to engage with people more there is no better time to be getting on board with this because i have to be honest with you this is a really really cost effective way of engaging with people if nothing else it's a very cheap way of engaging with people and getting engagement straight away and also getting some information from the person that's interested so that you can follow up as well. I mean, that's an important, massively important side of it. Don't you think, Adrian? Yeah, it's there are so many books out there and people that just say, you know, your uh, the value of your company or the value of whatever you do, it's in, in it's in the database. And that that's that's the truth, to be honest. It's not really any way how to hide that. Uh, and uh, it's really understand. It's really good to understand your customers and have them somewhere, somewhere stored. But yeah, again, as example, saying that, this is definitely not the year of the chatbots, but next year is going to be. Just because this year, I think everyone has been forced in a way or another to go into the online uh, space and maybe move their brick and mortar business into the online space. Yeah. And everyone is going to realize, holy crap, I need to do something actually and reply a bit quicker, you know, or do yeah. you know, engage with my customers in a, in a different way. Yeah. So I've seen so many things like from, from guys in Romania that work with the government to create a, a, a chatbot for the COVID-19, someone that uh, did something else about the pharmaceuticals in, in, uh, in the, you know, in the pharma companies and all that. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's so many applications that you can do, to be honest. It's just unbelievable. Listen, I'm... I think this this has got a huge value. You know, there's no other way to say. It. I think it's it's what a great way to start this series off on something like this because if you've already been doing social media marketing, if you've already got a website, if you've got all these things already, this is a great add-on, right? It's a, it's an it's an amazing. In fact, if you want to get clients there is a great way of utilizing this with other things as well in social but in in, in drive them towards there get them to click on that get them to go to that button you can do a post on facebook and you can just get press send message it's going to take you straight into a chat bot rather than just sending a message to you you know i mean these are some great tips i think i mean you know what better way to start i think than, than yeah. starting off with something like this you can do even better. You don't even have, you can say send message, but let's say you have a post that got loads of engagement. What you can do, you can connect a chatbot and that everyone, when someone comments anything on that post, yeah, a chatbot just opens. A Facebook Messenger window just opens it. It starts asking them question. I don't know, maybe you have a 
a company that sells something and uh, people comment about how nice that looks or how what a good job have you done there, you know? And when they do this, your chatbot can actually interact with them and maybe pick up their interest a bit and then follow up later. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we've covered how you use it, the benefits to the business, engaging, um, time saving, cost saving, because you won't, don't need to have somebody that's necessarily going to answer straight away. You can flick over and you can take over a conversation as well. So you can be alerted uh, through through a very simple system, in essence, uh, uh, almost like a messenger style system, right? Exactly. Um, and, and not just that, you can add different users into the platform and say, actually, this person only deals with the live chat and, you know, the live support. The other person deals with something else. So you can delegate tasks inside the, the platform as well. Um, very similar with the CRM. Exactly. And listen, this is um, this is the messenger world now. We all c converse through that way. I, I've now built, as you well know, over the last couple of months, going through, you know, the the the, the, the C19, as I prefer to call it, um, but going through that, you know, that impactful couple of months uh, generated a global uh, you know, network for, for of podcasters and, and other business owners all over the world. Um, you know, we will talk through whatever form we need to. So, you know, be whether it be Facebook Messenger, whether it be WhatsApp, whether it be exactly. some, you know, so we're all used to doing this. So this is nothing new. And and to, to think that is a very easy way for somebody that you've never met before to come onto your website and click on something and go into Facebook, which again is something that they're familiar with. Generally, generally 95% of the world is familiar with Facebook. So you're not getting into a messenger system on your website, which may seem a little colder. I think it feels a bit warmer getting involved in that messenger chatbot system there are mm. other chatbots out there but what you you specialize in is uh, uh, you know within the top three of the biggest chatbot marketing uh, companies on the planet right yeah yeah and that's called many chat and that's Manichat, why I do because yeah. my domain of activity is usually with the uh, businesses that have a social media presence as well and that i combine that and i try to make sales through chatbots as well sometimes because yeah. that can be uh, quantified and and that's exactly the reason why i'm using them and it's a great support from them usually that you have but also the level of personalization so you can send a um text message to someone into into messenger for example yeah. straight with a image with their name on it and yeah. that has a very very uh, you know powerful impact on them. You can say you can send voice messages as well or audio messages pre-recorded, depending at what stage they are in the chatbot, yeah. and that's very very uh, important as well. So yeah, yeah. What 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 a great way to start! What a great way to start! I've been looking forward to doing this for so long. We've been talking. We even recorded a couple of these, didn't we? I mean, we, we, we were just going to get them yeah. out as podcasts. Um, now, just so everybody knows that. We want engagement from you guys as well. As we start going forward, and Adrian and I are going to do, you know, a number of these. We've got other, I've got other co-hosts that are going to be coming on for all extraordinaires in their own in their own fields. Um, but we we do want engagement. It'd be good to get people to come on and engage. It's going to take a little bit of time. We get that. Um, and Adrian will be coming back and we'll be talking about chatbots again. So just because we've spoken about it today. There's plenty we can talk about. There's plenty of things that we can do. And in fact, we'll probably show you stuff as well as the series moves on. Uh, and we'll probably do some share screens and, and, and go through some stuff with people. But we want to know what you guys want to know. What is it that you want to find out from us? Uh, whether it be myself and Adrian, uh, myself or whatever the extraordinaire co-host is uh, is going to be, we want to hear back from you because it's really important to get that feedback from uh, from the audience. And uh, so please let us know. You can do that very easily by going over to the chat bot and go in and find the chat bot in the send message button on the Essex Business Radio Facebook page. Uh, at the moment, if you would like to get on a podcast and one of these and co-host with myself, then on there, there is, as Adrian said earlier on in the, uh, as we were chatting, uh, when you go into there, you've got three options. Uh, one is to find out about where you can listen to the podcast and find the podcast out. We probably need to update that a little bit, in fact, actually. The second one is to ask a question. So you may just want to ask a simple question. Too many people do that, um, but happy to answer questions there. But the, the other one is get on a show. Uh, and the get on a show is where you'll go through a, a point of seven, seven sort of points, seven questions in essence. Um, so you can come up with your innovative, your new fresh idea. What is it that you do? So we can have a look and if it fits in with what we want to do here, we'll get you on so you can co-host with me and we can get your idea out there. Something that you've been using that is helping your business or other people's businesses or them personally. Um, 
I think that's a great start, Adrian. I've really, I've really enjoyed that. Obviously, always enjoy chatting, chatting to you. Um, so, what have, so, so what have you got as as a little free di- freebie tip for everybody um, to just round things off nicely? So, first of all, if anyone wants to just see how a chatbot looks like, you can go on, on obviously on the SXPCs radio page, but you can also Spotify recently adopted a chatbot that works through Facebook Messenger. So everyone is using Spotify. So when people are going to go and listen to your show on Spotify, they can interact with the chatbot as well over there if they want to see how it is. Yeah, but um, the, the free tips today um, are going to be a free video course straight from the Manny Chat, the platform that I'm using, and uh, some case studies just for you people to understand exactly better how you can use chatbots and in what industries and what you do with them. Because it's, it's basically in everything, in every industry. Uh, probably even f- funeral companies. I haven't done it yet, but probably there. <laughs> <laughs> well, funny no, I do, I do know. I do know somebody in America. We'll have a little chat with Brian, shall we? And, uh, you never, you never know. He's a he's yeah, a pretty yeah, innovative yeah. funeral <laughs> director. Yeah, ch- picking the right coffin, you know, it might be something that can be implemented in chatbot. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? Exactly. Yeah, and and again, you know, just like you said guys and and girls and ladies and gentlemen, just ask any questions you have. Just because in these days, you don't have to be. Um, very savvy in IT or very techy and all this, you know, you can be a techpreneur. So just think whatever takes most of your time and you try to automate and ask Elliot in all the shows that he's going to do. It doesn't have to be me in every in every show just because he has connection with the right people and he can probably find a solution to your problem. That was so well put. Thank you very much. I'm touched. No <laughs> yeah, you see, you see, I, I'm, 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 uh, so I'm, I'm uh, excited, mate, to be here. <laughs> Uh, good enough, no, mate. Honestly, it's an absolute pleasure starting this series off with you. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be covering QR codes. Uh, so nine o'clock tomorrow evening, uh, Adrian and I will be chatting QR codes. If you don't know, don't know what a QR code is, that's a QR code. If you saw that, did you say, did I show that? Was that all right? Yeah, yeah basically, up? it's without the microphone that goes straight in the middle <laughs> of the QR code. But yeah, that's the, that's the one. <laughs> which you can find also all over the place. And we're going to tell you about QR codes and how that can help your business in lots of different uh, different ways. If you want to know more about chatbots, then uh, then make sure you drop us a message. Um, Adrian of USA uh, is an extraordinaire in this arena and uh, and we'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So anybody that wants, uh, wants help on that, then please get in contact with us. Uh, anything you want to finish off this evening with, Adrian? I, I don't know. You, I think oh, well, you've well, got you're me. Well, so, I'll just say, yeah, thank you for the thank, thank you for the opportunity to be here. To be honest, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm my pleasure my pleasure and thank you thanks very much for joining me and joining everybody else uh, we've had a few people on facebook but we do know that people will come on afterwards we've had quite a lot of people join over here on instagram uh, which is which is really encouraging i really want to find out how we can get instagram on this uh, on the same camera as well so we can stream it uh, simultaneously uh, and uh, so i'll be tapping you up for some tech and technical info on that side uh, adrian yeah, in case you just have a a uh, <laughs> kian uh, who co-hosted with me uh, for the last few days Days, has just joined on instagram so i'm going to hello, say hello ian. to kian great timing kian i'm going to we're actually going to, going to sign off now uh, because we've done the first uh, first one check it out kian and um, thanks very much for co-hosting of course with me my son my 11 year old potential future podcaster i think extraordinaire I think he has loads of talent so yeah it would be a shame not to be involved in this yeah, i don't know where he gets it from to be honest yeah <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, yeah. moving on. <laughs> Before <Yeah>. you go there, <laughs> now, thank you very much. Listen, if you want to know more about uh, Essex Business Radio and what we do, um, there is a little bit about us on the website, which we are updating and we are moving up and growing as we grow as well, and our audience is growing by the day as well. Uh, but you can go over and check us out www.essexbusinessradio.com, uh, where you can find all the podcasts on there as well, and there's some articles about some more interesting things that are going on rather than doom and gloom news. Uh, And there's lots of stuff that's going to be going onto that website coming up soon. However, if you want to find out really what's going on, go over to Facebook, uh, which you may have seen this on. This is on my own Facebook and Essex Business Radio down here on my personal Instagram. Um, So go over to Essex Business Radio on Facebook or Instagram. Please go and follow. Uh, You're going to find out what podcasts are coming up and go to the YouTube channel, Essex Business Radio. And the last one, Twitter, which we're just growing as well so 
it's a little infant in its infancy. Uh, it's Essex Biz Radio, B I Z Radio. Adrian, absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for joining me this evening for the first live and first episode of the Pivotal Pod Spectre. Exactly. It's been just the third time recording, but now it's live and it was way better than before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. absolutely. Great stuff. Well, listen, thanks for, thanks, uh, for now. And I'm going to sign off. Adrian, cheers. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. See you. And uh, I'm going to sign off. So thank you very much for joining me, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure. Look out for a lot, lot more. We're going to label these on YouTube as well so that you'll be able to pick these out. And the podcast is going to be created from this as well, the audio. So if you're just listening to this, guys, then go over to YouTube and check out the video podcast that's going to be over on YouTube as well. Listen, guys, wherever you want to get it, this is like Essex Business Radio on demand. Uh, and uh, I've really loved joining you this evening to bring out, uh, to bring you something new uh, about them, the, the chat bots and check out tomorrow for QR codes. And we've got plenty more coming for you. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 9 p.m. coming out to you live on Facebook and Instagram. And you'll be able to seal this on demand afterwards as well. Thanks so very much, guys. And what do I finish off with? It's got to be this one. Ciao for now. Brown cow.